Hey guys, it's Zach here, and today we're going to be unboxing Arrow Video's 2021 box set release, Cold War Creatures, featuring four films from producer Sam Katzman. If you're a fan of 50s B-movie horror, this is one box set you definitely will want to check out. Our case here is nice and sturdy, featuring the artwork of Matt Griffin on both the front and the back. The four films included are listed on the spine, but we'll go ahead and take a look at each one individually. We can pull out our Blu-ray cases to find that they're the slimmer style that Arrow often uses for box sets. There are also a couple booklets included here, but we'll get to those later. As we make our way through this box set, you'll note that each film is in its own case. There are a couple fold-out posters, and each movie is accompanied by a set of three lobby cards. Each film also comes with a reversible sleeve, featuring Matt Griffin's new artwork on one side and the original poster work for the film on the opposite. For now, let's take a look at each of the films included. The first movie in our stack is Creature with the Atom Brain. A personal favorite of mine, it was originally released in 1955. The back of our case reads, quote, From the pen of legendary screenwriter Kurt Siedmak and director Edward L. Kahn comes this slam-bang science fiction thriller. Fresh from fighting off the creature from the Black Lagoon, Richard Dennings stars as a police doctor, Chet Walker, hot on the trail of mob boss Frank Buchanan, who has hired an ex-Nazi scientist to reanimate his dead thugs using atomic radiation. Can anything stop them? End quote. I will be making separate videos for each movie featured here, so I'm not going to go too into it right now. Creature with the Atom Brain was a great start to the Katzman box set, but where do we go from here? The second movie in our stack is The Werewolf, released one year later in 1956. The back of our arrow case reads, quote, Prolific, inventive, and always adaptable, director Fred F. Sears brought a gothic horror staple into the atomic age with this highly effective, moody chiller. Stephen Rich stars as an amnesiac auto-accident survivor used by two scientists as an experimental subject to create a vaccine for nuclear fallout, the side effects of which leave him howling for blood, end quote. It's awesome to see a werewolf story with a different lore to it. Another classic style genre turned sci-fi with the nuclear monster boom of the 50s. Moving on, we return to the director of the first film in the set with our third feature, Zombies of Moritau. Our informational sleeve reads, quote, Director Edward L. Kahn teamed with another great writer, Bernard Gordon, for this delightfully loopy aquatic adventure. An attempt to salvage a fortune in diamonds from the wreckage of a ship that sank 60 years earlier off the coast of Africa takes a terrifying turn when the treasure hunters discover that the ship is cursed and the diamonds protected by the zombified members of the crew." End quote. Released in 1957, Zombies of Moritau brings us back to the undead for more supernatural chills. The double bill pattern continues as our final movie in the Cold War Creatures box set is The Giant Claw. The backside reads, quote, One year after helming the classic alien invasion movie, Earth vs. the Flying Saucers, Director Fred F. Sears returned to the realm of intergalactic invaders attacking America with a movie that, once seen, can never be forgotten. In an inconceivable act of cosmic irony, an enormous bird from outer space descends on Earth and begins chowing down on all and sundry. Big as a battleship, the creature creates more chaos than Kong as it attacks both the Empire State and the United Nations buildings. Scientists and the military work together feverishly to find a weakness. Can they stop this extraterrestrial terror? End quote. This rounds out our box set and actually lines it up nicely with our four films and switch off between directors Edward L. Kahn and Fred F. Sears, all produced by Sam Katzman. These films overall make for two really fun double creature features, but not only do we get our Blu-rays and everything on disc, we also get a few more physical bonuses to look at, so let's go check those out now. Moving back to our physical release, we have two separate fold-out posters. Each poster is double-sided and each side features one of the four included films, all with newly commissioned artwork by Matt Griffin. The first poster shows Creature with the Atom Brain on one side, and the werewolf on the other. Our second poster shows off the other two films, Zombies of Moritau, and The Giant Claw. Alongside these posters, we have two fairly thick booklets to check out. Made from a nice-feeling material, each booklet has a different focus. The first one is titled Cold War Creatures Art. It runs at 80 pages cover to cover and contains a written introduction for each of the four films, followed by pages upon pages of images, photographs, promotional artwork, and material. 
Each film is given its due, and it's an awesome way to flip through and relive moments from each movie, as well as check out some of the awesome advertising material from the original 50s releases. Moving on to our second booklet, and final inclusion in this box set, we have Cold War Creatures Essays. Running at 60 pages cover to cover, this booklet showcases 5 essays in total. Each film is featured in its own article, and the whole booklet itself starts off with a great write-up on Katzman himself. If you're a fan of reading material with these movie releases, be sure to get hold of this one, as it's an awesome companion to the set of films presented. With this, however, we fully unboxed Arrow Video's limited edition box set release of Cold War Creatures. I'm super excited to talk more about the set, and I'll be diving into each disc on its own in order to check out all the video supplements included. Subscribe for more, and stick around for the upcoming Blu-ray reviews of Creature with the Atom Brain, The Werewolf, Zombies of Moritau, and The Giant Claw. Thank you so much for joining me here on Pajama Theater, and I'll see you guys soon.